The government's own scientist, Sage, said two weeks ago, and I quote, only a complete preemptive closure of borders or the mandatory quarantine of all visitors upon arrival can get close to fully preventing new cases or new variants. So pretty clear. So why did the Prime Minister choose not to do the one thing that Sage said could prevent new variants? Uh, well, actually, Mr Speaker, Sage did not uh, recommend a uh, complete ban, and uh, they say that uh, uh, travel bans should not be relied upon to stop importation of new variants. But we do have, Mr Speaker, one of the toughest regimes uh, in the world, and it is illegal now. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, to go uh, to, on holiday in this country. It is illegal uh, to travel uh, from uh, South Africa or all the countries on uh, the current red list. And we are, will be going for, for, forward, Mr. Speaker, with a plan to ensure that people coming uh, into this country uh, from those uh, red list countries immediately have to go into government mandated uh, quarantine uh, hospitality. Mr. Speaker, I'm intrigued by the Prime Minister's answer. I don't think he disputes what. Well, Sage's view was that only a complete closure or comprehensive quarantine of all arrivals will work. He doesn't seem to dispute that. He says it simply wasn't a recommendation. I would ask the Prime Minister to publish the full Sage minutes so that we can see what was said in full, or if there's some other advice, perhaps publish that. Because the situation is this. We know the South African variant is spreading across England, and measures are in place to try to deal with that. We also know that other variants are out there in other parts of the world. So is the Prime Minister really saying, just as a matter of common sense, is he saying that quarantining all arrivals would make no difference to fighting new variants of the virus? Or is he saying that quarantining all arrivals at the border would make a difference, but it's too difficult to do it? Mr Speaker, this is the right honourable gentleman who uh, only recently said that quarantine measures uh, were a blunt instrument and whose shadow transport secretary uh, said that quarantine uh, should be lessened. We have one of the toughest uh, regimes uh, in, the, in the world and I think he, when he calls for uh, a complete closure of, of borders or, 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 or suggests that that might be an option, Mr Speaker, he should be aware uh, that 75 per cent of our medicines come into this country uh, from uh, the European continent, 45 per cent uh, of our food, uh, 250,000 businesses in this country uh, rely uh, on imports. It is not practical uh, completely to close off this country, as he uh, seems to be suggesting. Uh, what is practical to do is have one of the toughest regimes in the world uh, and to get on with vaccinating the people of, the country, of this country, which is what we are doing, Mr Speaker.